<clears throat> Dear humans, I stand here today not for myself, but for every tail wagger, sloppy kisser, and curtain ninja. I stand here for each one of the thousands of dogs and cats killed in shelters each day, asking you to join our cause and help us make sure every best friend has a chance to meet one of their own. With Best Friends Animal Society leading the charge and your help, we can save them all. joining us for Pet Connect, I'm Tara Douglas. We have Sunshine Saturday this weekend, May 11th, and we will have a tent that the Silicaga Animal Shelter and the Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill will, will put up there right as you walk in. So we'll have some available dogs and come on by and meet some dogs. Maybe you can find the next member of your family or if you just want to come pet some dogs and, and talk to us, just come by. The weather looks like it's going to be beautiful and it actually will be a sunny Saturday for Sunshine Saturday. And if you want to come out to, well, this is Baxter. Let's talk about him. He's our pet of the week. He will not be at Sunshine Saturday. Baxter is fortunate enough to be at For the Love of Dog with Meredith Dempsey. So she has a program where we can bring shelter dogs to her and she boards them and we find sponsors for them. So Baxter is there right now and he is available for adoption. He's ready to go to a home and we're doing everything we can to keep him from having to go back to the shelter. And this is such a unique opportunity that we have here and such a great partnership we have with Meredith because you can adopt a dog that has been able to come away from the shelter system. They get to calm down in a much quieter, uh, much uh, more stress-free kind of situation. And she has a lot of information about the dogs that she brings to her, to her home. So she can give you all kinds of behavioral information. Baxter is good with kids. He's good with other dogs. Now, one thing I hear about Baxter is he likes cows. So if you are going to adopt him, make sure you have a fenced in yard because he may just head on down the road to see if he can look for a cow. And he just, I think he just likes them. He just loves to hang out with cows. So we don't need that to happen, but if you need a dog, Baxter is available. And then we'll have other dogs available, of course, at Sunshine Saturday. We'll have our normal dog walking event at the shelter from 11 to 1 on Saturday. And then we're going to go into our next weekend event. So our next weekend event that's a week and a half from now is Crazy Days. It's going to be on May 18th. And I've asked Nicole Rudd. She's the Membership and Communications Director at the Silicaga Chamber of Commerce. And she's going to tell us all about Crazy Days. So Nicole, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. This is well, wonderful. So tell me about Crazy Days. It was so much fun last year. So this is our second year to bring back Crazy Days. It was a longtime favorite for so many people, usually in the summer or, or back to when school started. Mm -hmm. uh, people had sidewalk sales. It was a downtown event just to get people together and to also promote our downtown businesses. Uh, but now we're making it. We've got a kids zone going on. It's presented by uh, Central Alabama Community College. Okay. We've got touch a truck so we'll have a lot of different vehicles for the kids to look at, touch, honk horns, do things. Uh, we'll have mini excavators, we'll have spreader vehicles, we'll have tractors, different things like that. That's presented by First Bank of Alabama. And we got a we picture have, up right now of kids last yes, year. Yes, of course, that, they've loved it. After they got finished, the, the fire department graciously comes and helps us out with the heat, and they have a sprinkler for the kids to get into, and then afterwards, sometimes they like to go take a break over there. You know, I've never seen kids have as much fun as they do. There, there they are on the sprinkler, because the chamber does such a good job, and, and it's so great for the fire department to bring the trucks there, mm -hmm. but it's so many of the events that the chamber does. We have it has the, been such a hit. The kids just love to play in sprinklers it's, it's, and it's fun to watch them because they just get so excited when the firemen start spraying that water. And I have loved seeing the adults <laughs> get in the sprinkler as well. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to do it if I yeah. wasn't working then I would love to be in the sprinkler as well especially in our in our June events and our crazy days. We love to see people come out and it's a free event. Anybody see they can sit in it. It's a great time. That's my niece Olivia. Oh. She absolutely loved it. Did not want to get away from those. Well, you know, a lot of kids don't have an opportunity to, to climb into a tractor or yeah, to, be absolutely. To, to be right up next to these vehicles and these trucks. And it was fun to watch how much fun they were having. Yes. I wanted to go and get in the tractor. Right, absolutely. <laughs> I know that I went over to the excavator a few times. I <laughs> wanted to see it. Um, we also have our prize patrol, which will be Heritage South. And Tim Force Heritage South has their 
awesome Heritage South Credit Union van that they'll be driving around and surprising people with prizes and okay. they may jump out and surprise you with who knows what but we're excited to see that and we also have Pelican Snowballs as okay. our sidewalk chalk sponsor oh, that's so they'll have sidewalk chalk for kids and they'll also be doing uh, Pelican Snowballs. So something else to help them cool down besides the, the spraying of the, um, the, the fire truck and there's one of the the sidewalk chalk activities there. Yes, I love walking <laughs> around and greeting people and doing things, but then seeing the type of art that they did mm -hmm. on the sidewalks. So that was always good to see. Now, how does it work? So we've got the downtown businesses that are participating, mm -hmm. and people go and shop at the downtown businesses, mm -hmm. and then they, they're able to, to to have a certain amount that they spend and bring so, it back yeah, to So yeah, if you're chamber. familiar with our Christmas open house um, giveaway, what you do is anytime you spend $25 or more, for every $25 you spend downtown that day, we will have a chamber tent set up over in First Bank's parking lot. People can bring their receipts and for every $25 you get one entry in to win $250 okay. in Chamber Bucks. And Chamber Bucks has a list of our local members who you can use those chamber bucks at. So Okay. So you use those chamber bucks just like money. At, just at like money, places. yeah. Okay. Well that's very exciting. And I hope we have some good weather because it was Absolutely. We had a little bit of rain last year, but yes. it was still a good day. I mean because yes. it kinda rained a little bit later in the day, but I think the kids were so wet they didn't notice that they it was didn't raining. Care, so yeah. it was fun yeah. either way. And Nicole this year had a great idea because she called and asked if we could bring some of the available dogs to this event also. So you'll see some dogs walking around downtown and we've got an, another um, the circus theme. So we've got yes. some costumes. So be looking for dogs that have adopt me signs. And um, this is a great story. I, was t I don't even know that Nicole knew this when she called and asked no. if we could bring some dogs. But last year, this is Hawkeye. And DJ Gann, who is a new business owner downtown, make sure to stop by her place. She should be open then at Fed Up Shipping. But DJ decided she wanted to take one of the shelter dogs around, and he wore an Adopt Me bandana, and so she got this really cool picture in front of the fire truck, and it was because of her walking Hawkeye downtown and getting this beautiful picture, he got adopted the next week. There was a couple that met him and saw this picture, and like, you know, we've got to have that dog. So, you know, we certainly hope that if you are looking for a new family member that you will meet these dogs that we have walking around. Uh, we really need them out of the shelter, and Hawkeye had been at the shelter for months. And so we, all the volunteers were so thrilled that he was able to be adopted. It was just another great thing to happen at Crazy Day. So that was um, a lot of fun to, to have him adopted right after he walked around. So make sure to look for some of the dogs. And we may even have a, a puppy parade or a dog oh, parade. Yeah. So um, be looking for signs for that. But if nothing else, we're going to have some dogs from the shelter walking around. We have great volunteers that want to be there to um, help us find some homes for the dogs. Now, any other activities? Do we have any balloon art this year or anything? We will. We'll have a okay. balloon artist out there. We'll have several. We'll and there's have, some balloons right there. She's yeah, the absolutely. We'll have, <laughs> she's in the background. Uh, we'll have a balloon artist out there. The kids love that. We'll also have um, Silicaga High School boosters. Uh, we'll have BB Comer boosters, Fayetteville boosters, all out there selling and and selling good treats okay. and things like that to well, that raise money for the schools. That sounds like such a great event. And let me just tell you that you guys at the Chamber, you and Laura and Renee and Chelsea, have done such an amazing job with all these events. And, you know, it, it benefits the, the city in so many ways. It benefits all of the local businesses. It benefits the, the town in general. But um, I tell you, y'all put on an event, lots of people come. <laughs> it's, we, it's, we love that. We hope yeah. that more people come. It's a free event for kids. Like I said, we've got the balloon art. We've got the sprinkler. We've got all kinds of different things, sidewalk talk. It's a free event for kids for them to just come out and enjoy, but it's also a way to get you downtown and to maybe have lunch somewhere that you don't usually have downtown. And maybe if you spend over $25, come and be entered in for $250. Yeah. But we love having events for the community and for our businesses. And anytime we can mesh those two together, it's, it's wonderful. It's a team effort. And, and as a local business owner, you know, we really appreciate the Chamber. So if you aren't a member of the Chamber and you own a business, then make sure to contact them because there's so much that, that y'all do that's just uh, amazing and helps all of us and, and helps you know, all the business owners and the, the city in general. So we appreciate you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, you so much. you such a great job. Thank you. So any other, now we got 4th of July coming up. So yes. what is the date for the fireworks for that? It's Friday, June 28th. So okay. it's always the Friday before the 4th of July. Okay. So Friday, June 28th at Central Park, we'll have, so probably from about 5 o'clock to 8, 9 o'clock, 
we'll have activities, kids slides, foam frenzy, which we'll also have foam frenzy at. Crazy Wait. days as well. Kids loved the foam. Oh my and gosh, I, I ran that foam. <laughs> the bubbles, yeah. And that, yeah. Like, I've never seen anything as crazy as that. Yes. Kids love the foam. So make sure your kids are dressed to come and play in water and foam. Yes, because absolutely. Because they just, uh, you know, you could, there's so much foam you'd lose kids. Yes, in. Like, what, <laughs> right. What is happening? We'll have a lot of food trucks <laughs> at our, our fireworks event. We're very excited about that one. And then of course fireworks. Everybody yeah. loves fireworks. Well then we'll, we'll definitely have to have one of you back on to talk about the fireworks show before. But the, but the upcoming event, May 18th, correct? Yes. And what's the time for it? 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Okay, so make sure you yes. come downtown 10 to 2 on May 18th. And so we'll have you there then. Nicole's yes. not going to be around for the 4th of July because she's no. having a baby. Yeah. But let's talk about your, your current baby, yes. your puppy. Or... Yes, my first child. Oh, there. <laughs> yes, that's Riggins. So Riggins is an 8-year-old cockapoo. Um, he was gifted to me one year for Christmas. I'd had a, a Shizu for 14 plus okay. years who had passed away. And so my family surprised me uh, because I didn't know how to live without a dog. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. know, I didn't think I'd ever love again. <laughs> but he <laughs> And has here been, you are. Yes, but he has been our greatest blessing. He's full of energy. Um, on his papers at the groomer, they have him marked as a jumper because he can jump over fences okay. and over doors. Even he jumps oh, so gosh. high. Yeah. Does he really? Yes. How have you been able to contain him? I, <laughs> Good train. I don't know. I would say good training, but you, I don't think it has you've done a that. good job. You just can't help it. <laughs> parenting, great parenting. They can get your you get your skills ready for the the, <laughs> yes. the baby coming. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing with us today, and thank you for telling us more about Crazy Days. And we hope to see everybody out at Crazy Days and Sunshine Saturday this weekend. We got two big weekends coming up here in Silicaga, so come on into town both Saturdays, and we're gonna. Um, see if we can find some homes for some some dogs and come on out and also even though we have these events coming up um, we've got oh we got the the cheesecake so if you order cheesecakes I'm glad they put this up here you know you can't we're past the date of ordering cheesecakes but if you did order them they are going to be available this Saturday so go to the feral dogs of Avondale Mill Facebook page it has instructions of where to pick them up but the pickup time I believe is 8 30 to 11 and um, just make sure that you don't forget that you order those cheesecakes so that you can come and get them. And then after you go pick up your cheesecake, go to Sunshine Saturday. And then after you stop by Sunshine Saturday, come and help us walk dogs at the shelter because that's what I was going to say is we've got dog walking at the shelter both of these event days. So just because we're there at Crazy Days and there at Sunshine Saturday, the shelter dogs still need to be walked. And go, um, to, go to the go to Fell Dogs Facebook page or any of our volunteers. We've been sharing Baxter so that you can get more information about Baxter and help us find him a home. So please go and if, even if you don't need a dog or want a dog, share that information about him on Facebook because you never know who's going to be looking that will be ready to adopt a dog. So again, Nicole, thank you so much for coming on the show and we'll have more Daybreak after these messages.